Now back to Making a Difference. Only here on V81 Radio, South Manila. Okay, so we are now back. Uh, for those who are just tuning in, welcome to Making a Difference. So again, this is a show to um, inspire and really just to motivate the youth to do what they're doing and to continue what they're doing. So my name again is Erica Mison. I am Making a Difference host and I'm also your online friend. So before the break, um, I introduced an organization called Kids for Kids. So they focus on both creativity and sustainability. So we got to talk to the co-founders and um, an officer and they told us uh, basically the background story on um, Kids for Kids, how they set it up and what their, are, what their advocacies are. So for this next segment, um, we're going to get to know their current projects. So I'd like to call back um, Annika, Raffer, Gino Yang, and Daniela Pedrosa. Hi. Hello, Annika. Hello, Gino. Hello. Daniela. Okay, hi. Um, how are you guys? Are you guys okay? Yeah, yeah thanks. Good. Okay. All right. Okay, so... Um, a while ago, we we already got a glimpse of Kids for Kids, what you guys basically do. Um, so now maybe um, you guys could talk about your current projects or maybe expound more on what you're doing for Kids for Kids. Sure. Okay, so I'll start first. Um, we'll talk about first Bye Bye Plastic Bags and then Annika will talk about Kids for Kids because Bye Bye Plastic Bags is our sister organization as mentioned earlier. So what we just what just happened actually in Bye Bye Plastic Bags was we celebrated the month of the oceans um, with an event called Lingon and Kalikasan. So, um, sorry, not Lingon and Kalikasan, we renamed it to Vitera. Um, so what happened was we had a bunch of online Zoom classes, we had testimonies, we had Instagram takeovers, um, and we had a bunch of other forums. So just to quickly get into all of those, we had online, we had online Zoom classes for three days. So it was World Environment Day, Oceans Triangle Day, and World Oceans Day. So for each of these, we got a bunch of representatives from a lot of organizations like Save Philippine Seas, um, LAMAV, Fund the Forest, Reef Check, um, and other organizations. And then for the testimonies, we also got a bunch of representatives from Tai Pinas, Sea Movement, um, w w WWF Philippines, um, and LAMAV again. And then for the Instagram takeovers, we got people like Gab Paloma from Sustainable Co, um, Co. Mm -hmm. and then Melati, who's also the Bye Bye Plastic Bags founder from Bali, and then also Jen Horn from Muni Philippines. And then for the forums, we had like a Love for Coral Zoom forum with WWF again and Kids for Kids, and then Bye Bye Plastic Bags Us and CTI CFF and Sea Soldier North Sulawesi, and then. We also had a Bye Bye Plastic Bags Global Forum. So as Tasha mentioned, we have a bunch of teams from all over the world. So we were able to get a few of those teams actually to join in a forum with us. So that was really cool. We got to hear about their initiatives and um, we also got to hear their perspectives on a lot of different issues worldwide. So it was really interesting. Um, and then we also had a Kids for Kids and Bye Bye Plastic Bags Forum where a lot of people were able to ask us questions about our organizations and what we do and stuff. And then we also got, um, we also produced a 79 page information book, which was made by our research team. So it's really cool. It's all about the ocean. And if you guys want to check it out, it's actually for sale. You can find the details on our Instagram. It's 350 pesos. It's really informative and it was fact checked and stuff. It's really cool. You should check it out. And then aside from the Terra, we had, um, <laughs> Aside from Vitera, another one of our committees, the social media crew, um, is planning our publication. So we have a publication called Alon, which can be found on medium.com. And recently, I think just last week, we were able to deliberate and get our new roster of um, researchers, writers, and artists to make our publication. So that's all in the works right now, and they're planning that, so it's really cool. And then lastly, our other project team, Coastal Crew, is planning a month-long sustainable cooking project where they'll get chefs and others who are helping farmers or those in the agricultural sector to discuss and show how to be 
sustainable when it comes to cooking and how to help those in agriculture in a sustainable way. So yeah, that's pretty much it for bioplastic bags right now. I'll give it to Nini now to talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, I just want to ask um, Daniela. So when was the, um, when were the forums? Was it this last year or um, how long ago? The forums, oh, all of these happened um, from June, from June 5 to June 11. Yeah. Wait, this this month? This yeah, year? This, this yeah. month. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got that. Okay. So, yeah, so let's hear the man from Annika. Okay. Um, so in Kids for Kids, we have different project teams. And right now we're all working towards um OSEC. So it's our campaign for OSEC, which is um the online sexual exploitation of children. Because um, especially since we're all in quarantine, this is something that like families like who have lost their jobs or like some families aren't super aware of the children's rights and human rights so they end up um using online sexual exploitation for their children to earn money and so we partnered up with these two beneficiaries so that's Linga bata and unicef um and how it kind of works is that um Linga bata um they offer like different um goods so it includes like fo food sanitation homeschool for kids and even like um urban gardening lessons so we wanted to partner up with them so that we can raise funds so that um because for one family you can um, provide for four to five people um with 750 pesos so we try to earn as much as money as much money as we can from like our volunteers or from the public event so that we can help as much families as possible um, and apart from that, we partnered also with UNICEF, so they go for the nationwide efforts. So let me go to like Ilagan and like again the Oro, because we want to be able to help um, like the grassroots as well as the nationwide solutions. And um, it's such a good opportunity because um, we have like different live sessions so that we could get the information out there. So we have had like sessions like on Zoom calls. So it's like we had Anthony and Ella Panginingan from Call to Rescue. And then we had Nino Lassin from UNICEF, Yadi and Chavez from Link Up Battle themselves, um, Sen even Senator Isa Hunteveras and um, Macy Lee from like Talang Belisay. So it goes about um, talking about the realities of OSEC in the Philippines as well as like how to manage that or how to like help take care of ourselves as well as people who have been affected. Um, and so we actually have this thing where if you donate um, as much as possible, any donation is like super, we're so happy to have it. But if you get to donate um, at least 1000 pesos, you get a booklet. So it's super cute actually. I feel like it's a, like we love we love making booklets by my plastic bag or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But it's the booklet is like it's like specific for like children's rights and human rights. So like we talk about like different um different stories and different like games and like books and like it's just a bunch of like compilation of different things that um that would bring you back to when you were a child so you could show the importance of how important it is to take care of each and every child around us, especially during these times. So yeah, that's what and we even have actually we even had like bake sales and like we try as much as possible to have as much fundraisers as we can. Yeah. Okay. So um, the forum that you mentioned, when was this? Um, it was every weekend. Actually, we had like every weekend from June, I think, May to June around that. But we're collecting donations, I think, by the end of July, so that we can donate as much. As we can. Okay. So is it still ongoing? Yes, it's still ongoing um you can check all our links in our social media accounts <laughs> just a little plug you yeah, can plug it you can <laughs> uh, i will also help plug <laughs> for you guys <laughs> yeah those are really um great initiatives uh. um i mean ever since the start of the episode i've been hearing like so much great ideas from you guys so that's it's really great you not know, to hear um what you're doing and what you're currently doing so um okay so annika and daniela you're both internal um strategies head mm -hmm. same with regina but gino here he is the sustainable strategies head yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so, um, what do you do as the sustainable strategies head okay so like 
I'm actually still included within the internal strategies group, but like you might say like my position is kind of unique because like what I'm in charge of mostly is overseeing and making sure that everything is like on brand and sustainable because at the end of the day, we have to enforce everything that we believe. We have to be what we believe, right? So I'm kind of in charge of making sure that everything is by our standards, everything is sustainable and we reduce our carbon footprint as much as possible. Okay, so um, the six of you, um, you're the core members. Are there more core members, or this is it, natalaga? Um, like we kind of make up like the main internals, and like we compose a lot of like the ideas for the org. But then we do have subheads depending on the, for example, Annika's different uh kids for kids groups, and then Daniela also has her respective heads for bye bye plastic bags. Okay, okay, now yeah. now I. Gab, you know, I heard you mention on brand. I yeah. did not know that term up until I started working. So, you know, oh. it's really, um, Gab, galing. I, I mean, no words. I have no words, really. Honestly. <laughs> so, um, I've, I mean, I've seen a lot of organizations. I personally have mm-hmm. my own organization, and I know, um, it's, um, you know, it's still we have our own struggles but yeah. um kids for kids has been here um like since four four years ago f- five years ago and yeah. you know it's really great that y- you're you're growing i mean 800 members diba right? <laughs> <laughs> i have like 15 members can i introduce like actually one of like our other projects like since yeah, we're on the sure. topic of like, other small arts. Okay, so I think Tasha was talking about this small movement we started back in 2018. It's called Habilin. I, mm. I think, I'm not sure if you remember, but yeah, she mentioned it. Yes. So like what it started as, it's like a, an awareness movement actually. And like back then we started it as a ocean awareness movement. But then like now, especially during quarantine, um, we noticed that there's so much like people who have like gone through uh like self-realization i guess and like so many people are so into like starting new orgs or getting into sustainable culture and habilin is like we found that there's a way to move everything forward like as a collective not just individually so what we have now is habilin that has evolved into like three different like uh su- sub parts okay so like i'm sorry i'm gonna throw a lot of information no, at you, <laughs> we have like questions, all right? Okay, so like first off, I already mentioned we we're gonna we just ran a pilot of our workshop for being change makers, and what this is really is for um, new and up and coming orgs who don't really know how to get up and about about spreading their advocacy and uh, making a change in uh, and impact in the world. So that is one of our first and I'd say one of our biggest projects right now, actually. But then on the second point, um, in relation to the first point also, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but actually there's a law that's uh, supposed to be that um, in schools, um, environmental sustainability is supposed to be taught. Yes. And I'm, pre- I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure like a lot of us, like maybe some, some of the viewers know about it, but for the general public, like it's not, it's not that known. And I feel like it's such an undermined situation, especially now that the environment is going through such a hard and harsh state and that moves on to like the second point which is the preferendum what we like to call a preferendum it's it's a mixture of the preference and referendum like so preferendum <laughs> so, <that's the> word. <laughs> so, like, what it really is about is like what we hope to do is send we're formulating right now a survey which will hopefully be sent to different schools uh, based on this en- environmental education. So hopefully if we compile data and it becomes relevant, like we could send it to the maybe even UN or the local representatives of the country to better our country because data is so important these, these days. Like everyone knows that, right? Okay. And then like lastly, sorry, lastly is um, our what we call our unconventional co- convention. and. Um, we, we stressed so many times already how important collaboration is in making a change. And we really believe that 
like this isn't an individual movement. Like we all have to work together as a country, as a world to make a, the world a better place and make necessary changes. So what we're coming up with is we haven't launched it yet, but then what we we will do is okay. we're we're gonna start up a Facebook group and a networking platform for the youth because at this point like the youth are so involved in so many things already and they're bound to be the future leaders of course. So what we want to do is like get everyone connected before that point. So when we do reach that point, it's way easier to like make changes. Yeah. That's yeah, so that's you know, it warms my heart to to see um the youth, especially you guys, you know, really um making change, basically. And it, it. it, it's super nice to hear all of this. And you know, <laughs> I really wish you guys well. Um I, I can see Kids for Kids has like a very bright future with all the connections, with all the projects that you've been doing. I'm very sure if you wanna if you wanna send the data out, um I'm sure I know people will actually be interested and will will look into that yeah, as well. Absolutely. So, thank you so much. Keep it up. Keep it thank up, you guys. so much. You're so proud. Okay, I, 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 hearing all of this, I'm just so happy. Um, I mean, of course, yes, the environment is very, very important. But the fact, because now you're aware of it at such a young age, um, and and that's really great, you know. And tama si Gino, like we are, yes, we. I'm also included. Sure. So, um, that. Um, I hope the viewers that are watching, especially those of the younger generation, I hope you know you look up to these guys because they're really, <laughs> really making a change right now. Yeah. And um, it's great. Galing. And if any of the viewers want to get involved in our projects, like just follow our social media accounts. Like it's so easy to get involved with us. Like maybe start join the movement, I guess, right? Actually, I was going to ask you um, yeah. how do you become a member for Kids for Kids? Okay, so Annika, do you wanna go through okay. that? <laughs> um, so we actually <laughs> have um, sign-ups at yearly. So it's only it's always in the beginning of the year. So it's so sad yeah, that like especially now I have so many people like want to help as much as they can, but we can't accept as many because it's a very tedious process. But um you can still reach out to us, you can join the different workshops that we have. You can if you, you honestly if you have an idea and you can like message us or email us about it we could probably work with you as well like it's really really we i feel like one of the things that we value most is collaboration above all and like at the end of the day you don't actually have to be in you don't have to be part of our volunteers right but of course if you want to join <laughs> of course <laughs> 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 can I join? Can I be a member? Or am I like too old? Really? I guess? <laughs> okay, great. That's, okay, I'm excited. I have so many organizations <laughs> to join because of this show. <laughs> I promise so much. <laughs> okay, but anyways, thank you. Um, thank you, Annika, Daniela, and Gino um, for sharing the projects and all your ideas. So I'm really excited for Kids for Kids. I'm excited for the organization. So yeah, keep it up. Okay. So um, again, we're going to go on a short break. Um, but after the break, I'll have everybody on screen and we're going to talk about well, we're gonna talk about more personal things, okay? So we'll be right back after these few announcements. We'll be back shortly, making a difference. Only here on V eighty one Radio, South Manila.